Good morning friends. Welcome to Fox Endoscopy Committee CMEs and Workshop. Topic selected this year is Pallic Fluid Defects, Etiology Repair, Current Concepts and what scientific evidences suggest lettuce management. I thank Dr. Pesi Mahapatra, President Foxy for giving this opportunity for doing these workshops in most of the Fox societies. I also thank Dr. Tushar Kaur and Nandita Balsetkar, Foxy Vice President for giving the support. As you all know, pallet for defects has been discussed since many years and needs to upgrade our skill, understand the current concepts. The Lugate incidence is 20 to 40 percent in gynec patients. If you look at the causes of pallet for defect, multiple pregnancy, short interval between two pregnancy, Kerala, prolonged second stage of liver, lack of postnatal exercise, malnutrition, anemia, aging process, and increased intraoperative pressure because of maybe chronic cough, heavy lifting, and constipation are the common reasons for our incidence of this uh, particular condition in our country. Facts, defects in pallic floor are most of the time multiple. As we all know, in anatomy, there is something like anterior, mid, and posterior compartment defects. It cannot be isolated pallid defect because of obstetric causes that I have mentioned. Defects are because of some problems with support. And peripheral supports are dynamic and static. They are less understood, always tried by generally. Restoring anatomy is never aimed and ultimately leads to operative failure. Requires a new vision, new concepts, and new approach. And post operative sexual function is most of the time ignored. Now, look at this case. You can see that a massive prolapse. This is a case wherein post hysterectomy wall prolapse has been tried from below. And you can see massive prolapse. Listen to vaginal apex, means apical defect, lateral cystocil, lateral rectocil with introcil. And as I've said, uh, you can see in this figure. Is something called if you divide vagina in level 1, level 2, and level 3 support, apical support is with the help of utrosacral ligament, level 2 support is the pallid floor diaphragm, level 10 eye support, and third is parental muscle support. Now, if you all know, many patients are suffering from stress in incontinence. This is something which is so troubling, and at least this is something which we must positively ask to our patient for identifying while evaluating cases of for defect. And we must offer a permanent management along with paravaginal defect repair. A recent advance in knowledge and understanding focusing to new anatomy, neurophysiology, trauma during pregnancy, which is showing how to prevent and do a management of multiple for defect. Essentially, it requires comprehensive combined approach. Something should be tried from above, maybe abdominally or laparoscopically. And level 3 support, as I said, the perineal muscle support has to be done by generally. And optics, basically, laparoscopy helps in identifying defects. Pneumo actually helps in identifying defects for generally and understanding anatomy better. This has been understood by doing kind of a dissection. And people have realized that you can do good anatomical repair today. Basically, increase life expectancy. Now, people are living for more than 75 years. So, naturally, they are going to have more this kind of cases being seen by gynecologists. So, it's a lifestyle disease which is very important to those who are interested in maintaining a family and capacity of sexual activity. I will, go, I will not go in much detail, but this is a pre-cervical patient, you all know. And identifying palliative defect is very, very important in, uh, in understanding all these anatomical landmarks. One thing I just want to say, you can see a white line, extending from uh, um, eastern spine. You can see the lateral borders of liver and eye. And this is where endopalliative is attached. And this needs to be understood well why we are attempting to repair. This is the position we recommend when we are evaluating different uterine and vaginal wall defect. At a semi reclining position with a squatting position, and you let the gravity work on 
by the inner prolapse, and then you will hit from below uh, as it is shown in this figure. And this is how you will attack the compartment defect. And this is tossing, and so again, in different varieties, central defect, lateral defect, which includes paravaginal defect and transverse defect. It is the paravaginal defect needs to be looked in today because uh, the way we do today is not adequate if you are trying to do it from below. We need to change our you know, thinking process. This is typical mid compartment or apical defect. As a recent concept, which has given a new idea that you have to try to identify uterosexual ligament, you have to repair it or attach with the lateral angles for preventing the pyker defect in future. This is how we will do rectocele and endrocele. How will you differentiate between these two? You put your one finger in rectum and vagina and ask the patient for valsalva maneuver, identify a, a lower two third of vagina and upper one third of vagina and see that which has been gripped while doing valsalva maneuver to identify this before offering a repair. And these are the different videos which give the idea about how we do repair lateral cuticle.